Hi everyone, this is Dr. Banu Pavitra, MS Ophthalmology graduate from Maulana Azad Medical College, New Delhi. And there's a common notion that ophthalmologists are cataract surgeons. It is most mainly to do all with cataract. What else? That's not the truth. Cataract is just the tip of the iceberg. Ophthalmology is a diversified branch. It has various subspecialties to deal with, like the orbit, oculoplasty, tumor oncology, cornea, uvea, pediatric ophthalmology, cataract and refractive surgery, and also the vitreoretinal part, neuro-ophthalmology too. So an ophthalmologist is actually a gifted doctor who can be a physician as well as a surgeon to be precise, a microsurgeon at the same time. Microsurgery, this word scares uh, many people, N nothing to worry about. An ophthalmologist will get trained in the new course for it. Who is suitable for ophthalmology is that everyone are suitable. You just need to have good hand-eye coordination and manual dexterity which a wide range of patients from a premature baby till a 110 year old adult. We deal with patients in a lesser emergency states. Imaging is minimal uh, for an ophthalmologist. Ocular anesthesia and uh, imaging can be uh, dealt with by an ophthalmologist. The working hours and stipend is in par with uh, uh, all other postgraduate uh, resident depending upon the um, institute and all India Institute of Medical Science, uh, Raja Indra Prasad Health Center, uh, Guru Nanak Health Center, Maulana Azad Medical College, and Kamiraz Medical College, Bangalore Medical College, so Armed Forces, uh, Pune and uh, uh, Delhi, Lady Harding, Safta Junk, they also uh, Aravindai Care System, Shroff uh, Health Center, DDU, and uh, Agarwal Shankar Nitraya and all. Postgraduate resident will be trained mainly in OPTs, clinics, investigation labs, and in operation theaters. In OPTs, they will be uh, trained to see all kinds of patients, and they will be trained in all uh, diagnostics, as well as daycare procedures. And in labs, they will be trained, uh, and they will be learning about all the investigations, starting from intraocular lens power calculation, refractive error measurement, till um, corneal topography and optical coherence tomography uh, uh, for the retina. And also they will be trained uh, in various laser procedures as well as they will be involved in various eye banking and cornea retrieval program activities. In in addition, uh, they will they'll be trained in various of the specialty clinics, cornea, retina, pediatric ophthalmology, squint and contact lens, etc. Uh, external ocular, uh, extraocular surgeries, extraocular procedures and uh, uh, definitely uh, in cataract surgery starting from extracapsular cataract extraction to uh, vaco emulsification depending uh, upon the institute and uh, it's more rewarding um, the it is just when you open the eye after surgery and the patient gets back uh, the vision which he had lost uh, for quite a long time uh, that moment itself is rewarding for an ophthalmologist uh, rehabilitation services are also uh, being improved in these days and in, uh, you can after post graduation you can either join a government sector um, as a senior residency where you will be trained uh, as a holistic comprehensive uh, surgeon where you will be all set up for a private practice or for a corporate setup or anything a comprehensive in a three years program um, the one degree merit is the long duration but it is really of uh, worth three years of senior residency uh, it's a very good uh, experience uh, be it to become the our hands become very stable and uh, also professionally uh, we become equally competitive because we get an additional qualification um, after a post graduation uh, apart from this uh, you can also go for fellowships where there is long term fellowships uh, providing comprehensive um, fellowship as well as subspecialty fellowships in cornea cataract refractive surgery strabismus and pediatric ophthalmology or as a veterinarian surgeon in various renowned um, eye centers like uh, lb prasad arvind eye care shankar nitralia shroff eye center and so on and uh, you can also join as medical officers in charitable centers as well as in government through UPSC. Uh, senior residency programs is being provided in uh, state government, medical colleges as well as in AIMS, PGI and JIPMER. And uh, uh, super specialties uh, courses uh, like MCH Retina is also uh, being started in a uh, few centers like PGI uh, in the past few years. And the other scope is that uh, through various exams like fellowship of Inter International Council of Ophthalmology FACS or uh, you can now easily go for international fellowship programs in UK, England and uh, Canada, US uh, and so on.
you can also uh, go for private practice after having at least three years of uh, experience um, in government or uh, uh, private hospitals uh, after your post graduation if you feel that you are all set up for a private practice and this is where the main challenge starts in ophthalmology for a private setup you need uh, a huge amount of investment for the machines and for maintenance of the machines and for the op aseptic precautions and operation theater setup uh, you can either go for a collaborative setup or a, a already guided private setup where there would there will be seniors and other uh, you know guides who can uh, help you in decision making and uh, critical situations and uh, this is all about uh, ophthalmology